On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we use a freaking laser to make a custom hammer for Father's Day. All right, the first thing we're going to do is actually take a uh, capture and using the trace function to uh, trace a signature for this Father's Day hammer. So what I did for that is I had um, the uh, person that ordered the hammer have their kids write their signature with a Sharpie on a piece of paper, and they texted me a photo of it, and then I printed that photo out. So we're going to go ahead and put that into the machine now and uh, capture it using the trace function. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, capture this now. We're going to go up to the um, Import Artwork button and hit Trace. And we're just going to draw a box around the signature that we want. And it looks like it captured a good. And we're just going to go ahead and hit Place Artwork. All right, so now that we have this all captured, we have it ready to put on there. We're just going to make it a little bit smaller because we need that in a bit. Um, and now we can go ahead and prep our glow for it. We're going to take the tray out. Uh, usually when I do the scan or the trace function, I'll leave the tray in. It's just easier. Um, and now we'll take the tray out and prep it for the hammer. about uh, how I set this up here. These are actually some uh, pieces that I cut for templates for doing some silicone uh, engraving. But bas and, uh, basically I wanted to have these risers that I made um, be exactly the same distance from the bottom over here. These risers I'll put a link for down in the description. They're uh, a free file out on the Glowforge community forum. Um, but now we have the ability that we can lay the hammer across these two um, and it'll give us at the exact height that we need to do the engraving. So let me go grab the hammer and get it set up and then we'll move over to the computer. All right, so we have the hammer on the risers inside the Glowforge now. So let's go ahead and uh, start building um, what we need. So the first thing, the key to success with hammers, uh, besides making sure it's in the focus range of the laser, is to actually set the focus so that we get it the correct size in our, uh, our um, GFUI here. So we're going to go ahead and set focus. You want to set it where the highest or the thickest part is of the hammer, which is about here. Um, so it's going to go ahead and focus on that. It does take uh, approximately, I've, I've, I've done it twice. Usually the first one gets close, but what I actually do is I sit there and I watch where the red dot goes and make sure the red dot is where I want it to be. And uh, once we do that, it'll readjust on the screen, and we'll go from there. All right, now that we're um, set up, one other thing I see people do, I don't know if it's necessary, but I tend to do it, is I go ahead and hit the refresh uh, to let it go ahead and redraw everything. And then uh, we do want to pick, generally I've uh, used medium walnut hardwood, and that's worked well for everything I've engraved on these. So let's go ahead and resize our signature. I'm going to put that down at the end here. And I tend to go slightly lower than I think it needs, uh, than it looks on the screen. And don't be afraid to zoom in here. But generally it ends up being just a tad bit further uh, up screen when it actually engraves. So I just go a tiny bit lower. Um, and then we're also going to do a phrase on this one. And I'm just using the built-in... Um, insert text from, from Glowforge Premium, which is in a free trial right now. And we're going to do Happy Father's Day. Go ahead and let's resize this some. All right. Get it in a different spot. Can we see where we have it? Happy Father's Day. Zoom in. 
All right, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, give that an engrave. See how long it's going to take. So there we go, the finished hammer. Happy Father's Day with the kid's signature engraved. And uh, the saying on the other side. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more cool stuff with CNC, lasers, and other fun tools. See you next time.